I don't believe they would ever poison me. Ah! All right, I'm gonna take off my merch. Please buy it if you want to support. Um, oh my god, I look like I'm uh, I'm going to the Met Gala. Does this man even need an introduction? Nick Ocado, Avocado, arguably the most famous mukbang practitioner on YouTube, is still continuing his quote legacy with over a hundred more mukbangs ever since I last covered him. Well, not in that way, of course. He's been doing this for, I believe, six years, and I say it's time to check him out again. I realize that makes me sound immensely gay, but I'm not phased. Let's get right into it. I hope you enjoy. Now, for the perpetually offended peasants out there. Yes, this is going to be a sloppy video. Yes, these are going to be big bites. And yes, it might be so appetizing you're going to lose your mind because you're starving. And you're poor. And you're a peasant and you can't afford it because I can because I ordered three. He really isn't in a position to brag, is he? This is like bragging about being able to afford cigarettes as a chain smoker. Three servings, each serving is for a family of four. So four times three is 22. This is for 22 people. Click the link below to follow my Patreon. You'll get exclusive weekly videos about my life, plus tons of mukbangs not allowed on YouTube. Link below. Wait, so he eats food for 20 people and then also does separate mukbangs for his Patreon. Brilliant. I'm sure the glimpse into his daily life that he's offered will be a glimpse at his blood work and amputative medical interventions. And the amount of cheese going in here is over 2,560 grams of cheese. I also ordered two extra large calzones with extra cheese. Now, in order to put this into perspective, I have chosen to utilize my excellent mathematics through the use of Google, and it says here that 100 grams of cheese is 402 calories. That's 4,020 calories for a kilogram and 10,291 calories for 2.56 kilograms. Now, my maths isn't actually excellent, but I can infer out of this that what Nikocado is doing is unhealthy as fuck. Obviously, I don't know if it was cheddar, but no kind of cheese is healthy at an amount of 2.56 kilograms in one sitting. So, anyways... That's really what I want to say to you right now. I'm waiting for the food to arrive. Orlin went to go pick it up. I'm gonna, he should be here in like any minute now, which is why I decided to turn on the camera now because I love when he walks in so I can scream at him and blame him for my problems. Question for 400 pounds. Why didn't Nikocado Avocado fetch the food himself? A. He's fat. Yesterday's Cheetos video. <laughs> That was not a fun time at the on the toilet. Now it was not as bad as uh, bur uh, at the the Taco Bell breakfast that literally almost sent me to the hospital, but it was pretty bad. I was screaming. My my insides did not feel good. So not only do you eat like a combine harvests, but you also shit like a herb intolerant elephant after each of your mukbangs. Nick, why are you doing this to yourself? Not only are you risking your life, but you have to suffer for these deeds every single bloody day, even to the point where you almost are hospitalized in the non-universal healthcare nation of the United States of America due to what I assume was excruciating pain from liquidized acidic shit. Just what do you think you are doing? Does this life not upset you? When I first started this mukbang career, I was getting about 100, maybe 200 comments. Like on a good video, it'd be like 300. Now it's 3,000 on a good video. The average video is maybe one to 2,000. I can't read all that. I'm sure on a toilet trip of yours, anyone could read all that. Also, in regards to the comments, that must be nice. I get 100 on a good video, but at what cost comes your success? You masquerade on the camera, but the health risks are not fictitious. So while I'm not nearly as successful as you, I'm also, hopefully, not slowly dying. Oh, have you had... Fresh noodles, though. Orlin made them for me one time. Ah, oh, they got me really sick because gluten, but ooh. 
Did you just witness this gasp? He sounded like the female competitors of the NCAA Division I National Championship of Swimming after losing to transgender competitor Leah Thomas. The only difference is they were annoyed while he was almost fainting from asphyxiation just now. That's a lot of food. You go ugly. Put it there, put it, put it over, put it, put it there. That's a lot of, that's more food than I thought. Nick Ocado, you mustn't kid us. There is no sense in such lies. Oh! These things gave me diabetes last time. Oh, last time you say? That means you're diabetes free now? That's another lie. The Lord is not very happy with you right now. Oh, I can't even touch this. Oh, what's in here? This was $100. No, it wasn't. Yeah, it was. Pasta in a calzone? $100. Well, I did get three orders. What's in here? Salad. I don't believe they would ever poison me. Ah! Poison. If Nick ever does get his act together and stops conducting these stupidly dangerous mukbangs, I surely will miss these faces because that was hilarious. You guys, I need to get ready. I'm ready for the show. So we're gonna say, oh my God, I really wanna eat it. I also wanna eat those uh, poor people. Oh my God, did you just hear that? Nick's hunger has now reached a new level. He just confessed to wanting to eat poor people. Perhaps he's already done it. At least that would explain his massive brain damage. He might have contracted Jakob Kreuzfeld disease from it and would thereby have an excuse to see a doctor, but let's be honest, he won't. Okay, there we go. <laughs> And then the calzones, I have to, I can't even reach. Ooh, there they are, ooh. <sighs> yeah, don't look at my dark chin. Don't look at my dark chin. <gasps> Why did I get two? What's wrong with me? I can't eat all this. Again with the lies. Nick, have you no integra- oh. Yeah, that. Are you ready for it? Ooh. Bloody hell, America. Just kidding, if you think this is unique to the US, then you are sorely errant. You guys, this is a lot of pasta. Nick really did his best to make this pile of pasta look like the most unappetizing, disgusting accumulation of carbs, proteins, and fat there is on this planet. <laughs> My body is gonna hate me. Oh, I'm sure it already does due to the enormous quantity of food in this frame, which normal sized people can usually tell without assistance, is pretty enormous indeed. We have not gone blind to it like you have. Especially my, my back doors are always wide open, so it's gonna be extra runny tonight. Oop. That's revolting. This is a lot. And I'm still here for oh. <laughs> <sighs> why did I order so much food? Do you know why? Because life is short. Oh, Nick, you're a genius of irony. Okay, do I put these in the front? Do I put these on the side? I don't know where to even display these things. They smell so good. Oh, I want to drink it. It kind of smells like SpaghettiOs, actually. I'm positive the point where you express your desire to drink what tastes and or smells like SpaghettiOs but isn't actually SpaghettiOs, that is when you know you have a problem. I think that's where you should draw the line and really do something. Preferably exercise, obviously. But I will be sick for a very long time. We're not going to do it. All right. I'm gonna take off my merch. Please buy it if you want to support. Wait, what? No, no, don't you dare. No, my eyesight has been taken away. I cannot see any longer. Let me look. Ah! <laughs> uh, wait, I kind of want to look it up. Where's my phone? Goodbye, peasants. I have things to do. Be right back. Oh my god, your armpit hair. I'm, I'm traumatized. I don't even know how to open this other than just pulling it. Oh. Oh.
Uh, so now we're shifting from one traumatizing experience to the other. First, the indecent exposure, and now you're eating like a pig. Don't! Look at me. Click the link below and get yourself a cameo where I'll make a special video just for you. Treat yourself or surprise someone else. It makes a great gift. Link below. Don't look at me, Karen. Don't look at me, Ashley. Seriously, if you support this man financially, you should extensively, thoroughly reflect on your morals. What is wrong with you? This is just vile. I mean, look at this. How this possibly could entertain you is beyond me already, but how you could extend your hard-earned money into his wallet is even more incredible. And not in a good way. I get what he's doing is an act, but there is no disclaimer of any sort on his channel or videos. Nothing. I'm sure an ungodly amount of children see this and are of the impression that this is not objectionable and a completely fine way to live. To any of those kids, he's just another content creator entertaining the masses, especially his fat masses. This might even be their ideal life. They might even look up to this. They are kids after all, but that is not the whole picture. YouTube should not allow this as this infringes on their community guidelines and policies. They should at the very least require of him some sort of disclaimer at the start of every one of his videos. This is ludicrous and dangerous and it's very sad to see him making a shit ton of money ruining himself. Nick is both a genius and a clod. I get it's not always easy to make money. You have to identify with society's views of an ideal life, which many do not. But this is not the way to go. This is not a way to make money. It's a way to undignify yourself. A method to finance your adolescence and have an expensive funeral. Now, I'm almost certain that even though it doesn't exactly look like it, Nick wants more out of life than death. He's in the mood today, I don't care. I can see how some people might be infatuated by content illustrating abnormally large quantities of popular dishes. It's clearly evident of not only Nick's channel views, but also those of various other mukbang channels, that addiction plays a significant role in the popularity of these videos. Some people are addicted to watching others eat, while the creators of said videos are addicted to eating. It's like a vicious cycle, and given the unfathomably unhealthy nature of mukbangs, that that is precisely the issue with this kind of content. I seriously don't know why YouTube allows it. To me, it's clearly accompanied by a host of potentially perilous variables. Honestly, if ever it was warranted to scream about eating disorders, now would have been the time. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, leave a like. If you didn't, leave a dislike. Don't forget to comment on future video suggestions and don't forget to subscribe if you enjoy my videos. I hope to see you next time. Good. Bye.